like the ones who initiate or that what compels someone to change their diet and i find that actually that is what compels people and people lean towards the mediterranean diet because they're trying to live longer and most of the time people don't just start changing their diet you know, in a moment you know when something ain't, ain't broken you don't fix it you know so in order to actually start they have to have fixed something so it was just my course very very interesting but at the same time very very taxing like guys i think so Just because you're feeling a bit tired, just because you're feeling a place, just because it's getting a bit hard. It's all 
is going to be hard and in this life book choose your hard choose what you want to be difficult for you because the thing is then it's only going to be difficult even if you were to drop out today the struggle you'd have to now try and build and become again because at the end of the day you need to eat bro you need to eat you're not just living over nothing i was like they're feeding you yes but you also need to eat as a person so you need to be willing to put in the good fight and do what you can do the most of us we can i mean personally i believe in you because i believe myself because i know what they want what i'm going to do Four years, I'm passing, guys. Four years, I'm passing, and I'm going to walk that walk at UWC, and I'm going to tilt my hat when I graduate. And I want you to be there too. I don't want anyone to fall behind, guys. Anyone watching my channel, anyone that is subscribed to me, anyone that is looking to become a tactician, looking to become anything in this world that has to do with academia, please, guys, do not give up. Yeah? Like, life is hard, depression is hard, anxiety is real, guys. These things are so, so real. But remember that you're not alone in this journey. Like, I think that's why we use it sometimes as students. We think that we're so alone. We think that all these assignments are so many. And the thing is, people are faking. Your know, people are faking until they make it. They're carrying it so well, not knowing that people are even broken. Even sleeps at like one o'clock in the morning. I don't know how he does. Nice at twelve, but like he doesn't sleep at one. You know. And you look at his results and they show which this person is working hard. But the thing is, most of the time, yeah, we want to work so hard alone when we actually have people who are willing to help, you, willing to support you, willing to answer your questions, and you feel overwhelmed and under so much pressure because you see people post on Instagram living their best lives, exactly. not understanding that would you, like, to make an Instagram portion, even the videos that you watch on my vlogs, that is 15 minutes, bro, at most 30, 15 minutes out of 24 hours, dude, out of 24 hours, and time 24 by 7, dude, that's 7 days, you're only seeing 15 minutes out of 7 days, sometimes I only vlog once a month, 15 minutes out of 30 days times by 24 hours, times by another 60 to get how many minutes that is, in comparison, it's a minuscule portion of my life, dude, so don't look at me and like feel like, you know, you aren't enough, or you're not getting, or not working hard enough, because you, dude, you probably are, like, you, you probably really, really are, and just because you're not, you don't showcase your life on social media, just because you don't show off your things, online doesn't mean that you're not like where you're supposed to be as a person you know and that's why i, I find it so important to do my daily journal so i and even though i can't find my book i lost it I lost mm. that's fine i lost it mm. i was just gonna say the thing i always think about is like success is not final but um uh, failure is not fatal like mm. so just always, always keep consistent and then you keep the success but never let your failure become your end and like your absolute like stopping point because mm. it's it's never the end as much as like you want it you might think it is you still always can go back at it again and the person that is like the person to quit is more of a i would say that is when you fail it's when you decide to quit because yeah. then you stop pursuing what you wanted you to do you disqualify yourself from the race exactly it on running, like quitting is just you guys i know circumstances are difficult i know circumstances mm. are different hence it's so important to know you as a person to understand where you come from what you know your social economic background <laughs> <laughs> okay to understand um you just like make sure which even though you're hearing me now i'm making it sound so easy i know it's not like i'm not gonna i know it's not i know it's tough and i know you're probably going through something as serious and i'm never going to say disregard your feelings feel them definitely feel them but when the times are tough don't forget bro which you've come this far if you ask if you've come as far as us, um, Ethan and I are both second years. I'm second year athletics, Ethan is second year mm. sports science. If you come as far as us in second year, I would like to tell you that first of all, you finished primary school. Congratulations. Both at least let's go to the beginning. First of all, you were born. Well done. Well done. Not a lot because of people get that. A lot that. of people either don't get born because of like just God decides what you know what, or parents decide, you know what, and then you know, sorry, I'm until they don't make it into the earth. And mm. it's okay. Like we accept that, we understand that, but you, God has chosen you to be here. Other kids, they don't make it past five years old in so many places where child pre child which is what is called child pregnancy. Oh, I have no clue. I'm I forgot not what a... it's called, but it's there's a term for it where Woody, um the amount of child expectancy in some places is like li life expectancy. The life expectancy of mm. child children in some places is only five years old, and you've made it past five years old. First of all, steps to you, baby girls, steps to you, baby boy. Well done. Next of that, you've done pr um, primary, pre primary. Yeah. You've got to be one. You must be one. You must be two. Mm. You must be three. You must be four. Pass me five, pass me seven, pass me seven. I don't buy a failure, guys. Look at me, kind of seven. Yeah, I can say that in the maths. I'm just joking, I didn't matter to do me maths. But um, people fail all the time. And you know what? If you passed and you didn't fail, it's shout out to you. If you passed and you failed, Oxala, at the end of the day, you are now university. That means you finished all seven years of primary school. You got that primary education. Been there, done that. You're the man. 
High school. High school. Guys, high school is the ghetto. It's the trenches. Your body is changing. You're going through puberty. You're meeting really amazing people, interesting people, and you're being forced to really like take life change decisions while you excuse me, while your brain is still developing and you're making decisions based on what you like or based on the life you think that you want to live. Mm. And with so much limited information and with the guidance of our parents, dude. Let me tell you, um, you know, for for high school that I um, I did um Cambridge, so I did um a AS level and I did IGCSE. For my IGCSE I had like nine subjects. I did I did I think I did actually just seven. Did I just seven? We'll just check it out, put the list of the subjects I did for AS level, but for IGCSE, so that's great nine and ten. Then after grade 9 and 10, you choose your AS level subject, which are like the subjects that you're going to do towards applications of university. I had chosen English, I chose um, thingy, I chose maths, and I chose business studies, and I chose um, biology, and I had chosen um, Spanish, right? My mom was like, you know what, you know, as my child, I can see that this combination is insane, and there's no degree that you're probably going to get into with this combination. Like, even if you were to do business, like, you are, like, the way you've chosen your subjects is so limiting, you're not going to be able to go too far with your subject selection. What you kind of, kind of things that you want to do, and if you do, if you know me personally, even I want to do medicine, I want to become a gynecologist when I was younger. I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but maybe that'd be a dream that I fulfill one day. Let's not close that door. Um, but yeah, I want to become a gynecologist when I was younger, and then I did really well, but I didn't apply for university. I remember my trip um, for many, many reasons, and just emotionally, we, we were COVID, we were COVID matrix. So I ended up taking a gap year in 2021. If you didn't know my story, I guess I'm telling you that's my story, my life story, 2021. So then we I took a gap year and I worked for most of my gap year and um, I applied for university, but my marks fell short for medicine, so I had applied for nursing and that takes was my second option for every single university that I could remember I applied in. Yeah. I didn't apply in city, that's what you said to apply to. I don't want to city. <laughs> so I applied in US, I applied in um, and I applied um, Victoria, I applied um, UJ, I applied, I think I applied in as well. I applied every place that I possibly could have and the only place they sent me was UWC and for that they even accepted me my second option and they accepted me the week before that like, um during orientation because I got my acceptance at the time as orientation because I only got accepted so late. And I haven't looked back since but the whole point of this was if you are this far and you're in your second year, you've already come past so many child tribulations. You might have not done your IDCC exams, but you definitely did your budget exams and that's our AS level equivalent. So those exams, when you were there, you thought your know, life was falling apart, you thought it was the end. You really felt like, you know, you weren't going to make it. You felt, you felt so difficult. And right, raw, like, in that season, in the age that you're in, your pain and suffering matches the age that you're in. It matches where you're supposed to be. At the level that you're in. Right now, I look back at my, at my AS level, I'm like, what was I thinking? How did I pass this? How did I not do so well? Because I'm older now, I'm wiser, I've learned more things, I've learned different tricks, I've learned so much. But when I was there, the pressure, the load was heavy because at that age, for that body, for that time, that is what was meant to be done and that was what was meant to be difficult. So I need you to not accept suffering, but understand that in this season right now, it's where you're supposed to be. It's not going to be easy, it's not going to be easy sailing and it's not going to be perfect. But understand what you also feel like, yo, one thing about it, it will pass. It's not permanent. It's not permanent. It's not and I think sometimes, you know, as people, we are so used to permanence, we're so used to making things seem like they are, like, forever, when things aren't really forever, and we should rather live and focus in the moment, and make sure what you, in everything you do, just make sure you give it your best, so you never look back with regrets, because the only reason you regret is because you know you could have done better, so don't allow yourself to be in a position or have a space where you can say, I could have done better, because you really gave it 110%, and there's nothing more that you could have done, you understand? So, that's my two cents. I forgot where this started. I forgot where this is going. Talking and about like, courses and whatnot. Yeah, we were talking about the university. We were talking about um, the struggles of university students. And I guess end up becoming student motivation. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. So I feel like it's already like 19 minutes long. So, I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to thingy. I'm going to edit it and then I'm going to I'm post it as like um, just a. I think let's call it Carl Pucci Chats. Yeah, Carl Pucci Chats with um, Ethan and Valerie. <laughs> So Ethan, I, I think maybe like once a month we'll just touch base and have a bit of a chat and if you guys want to come on different topics, you're more than welcome to put them down. If you want Ethan and I to discuss, then we can have some talk about it for you guys. But yeah, I know I spoke a lot because Ethan is Ethan is shy anyways. But he, <laughs> he, he definitely did have this yeah. moment where he said a couple of things and I'm, I'm so grateful for that because I literally just took over, took over the car like, in like a minute and here we are. We're now literally almost at campus. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. If you this far, shout out to you. Um, comment. Um, you guys are doing good. But like, anyways, I'll just say it because I like I like this, and hopefully someday someone will like you know. And the day that they do, I want to lose my mind.
purple heart and like love and yeah so many purple heart and person does that guys i swear you're after mine you're after my heart i'm not gonna me i'm gonna give it to you because ah love it loads guys thank you so much for watching by the way and do you want to say anything else um, no. Guys, I don't even think I did an intro because this is going to be its own video. So, guys, hi there. My name is Vali Fortson. You can call me Ree. <laughs> My name is Vali Fortson. You can call me Ree. And if you are new, new here, um, what's up, no? <laughs> and if you are a Chinese subscriber, that means you're real. And I'm so happy to have you back. And I hope that you enjoyed this chat. Ethan and I, I think this is going to be the first of many. And one day, after my parenting, because Ethan and I have to talk a lot. And we, I complain a lot. And Ethan often gives me out and calms me down a bit. And he does like validate my feelings, but also brings me up to reality. So I'm really grateful for that. But yeah, guys, content, Kasana. Bye! <laughs>